Pi's off. I turned the Pi on the first time to do the boot. So it should be booting directly into emulation station. We want to go ahead. I'm going to press the switch here, turn on the Pi, and then press start at the same time. There we go. The fans are moving there, so I know that's going. We got the timer going. Samsung re-releasing a new version of their Samsung Evo Select, the tried and true, one of my favorite SD cards. They're re-releasing it now. This one is 100 megabytes per second. This one they're claiming 130 megabytes per second. They're now putting drones as far as like where you can use these. Um, it's a 64 and a 64. This is a FHD A1 V10 Class 10 UHS-1. Uh, this one's pretty similar though. All right, the new drive. We got 59.69 gigabytes, 64 billion, 55 million, 410,000 bytes. Let's run a speed test. So not that much faster. This is actually my second time running the speed test. The first time I ran it, I actually got it to go like 140, 150. But then this program really got it going. As far as write speeds, we're seeing 33, 34. So pretty decent there. Next, we have the green one the old version let's go ahead and format that and almost ident literally identical storage not a single you know literally not even a thousand bytes more now read speeds there's a big difference a good 20 percent difference there but write speeds only you know maybe one megabyte a one megabyte difference either half a megabyte difference on write speed so you're not going to see any faster write it's just read so, so far, I'm sounding like this is all just marketing. Let's go ahead and format this one more time and, and write an image onto it. So when we're actually writing an image for our, our Raspberry Pi, we're getting about 33 megabytes per second, so a little faster than that speed test. Uh, it's dropping down to 32.9, 33, and it's going to take a total of 15 minutes, 15, 18. All right, now new blue. New blue coming in at... Oh, 31, 33, about one megabyte faster. Very negligible, negligible. A lot more fluctuations, 16 minutes. It's probably gonna end up 15 minutes, very similar. Pi's off. I turned the Pi on the first time to do the boot. So it should be booting directly into emulation station. We wanna go ahead. I'm gonna press the switch here, turn on the Pi, and then press start at the same time. There we go. The fans are moving there, so I know that's going. We got the timer going. Whoa, 30 seconds. That was fast. So 30 seconds to boot up. Let's turn it off. Swap out the green for the blue. Okay, here we go. Timer's going. Here's the new and improved. Let's see if we can get is it any faster than the green one? I mean, it's already super fast at 30 seconds. Whoa, Jesus. It's going a little faster. Nope, exactly the same, exactly the same. So at the end of the day, when you're choosing a micro SD card, these things have been ridiculously cheap. There's a lot of brands out there and there's a lot of scalpers out there. And so Samsung, you know, a Korean brand, are they any better going from the old gen to the new gen? No, not really. But there's a couple positives here. Number one is you could probably get a better deal on the old generation. Don't shy away from it. Number two is now we have a new generation. It's blue. So probably a lot less scammers out there. There's a lot of scammers making fake ones of these. Now they have to retool, remake their SD cards. So you're probably more likely to get a real Samsung, especially internationally. I hear that there's a lot of issues with that. But always buy from a reputable website and look for a good brand. Um, there are better SD cards out there like the SanDisk Extreme. There's some more quality cards as far as speed. You know, like this Samsung Extreme will write two times faster than, than this one will. Read speeds are, are, are up to 160, not a huge deal. But those write speeds, if you want to write things on your cards really fast, there's definitely better cards out there. But I want to do this video on the Samsung Evo Select and just let you guys know is it worth the premium because look the difference between the old gen is $15 versus 
uh what do we have here eleven dollars like that's a pretty significant difference and when you're talking like 128 you got 18 dollars sale on that versus 20 you save a couple bucks 256 the new gen's gonna be quite a bit more i'm sure 37 versus 34 actually i guess <laughs> the difference is not huge 69 versus yeah, 10 bucks i mean that's significant that's more than 10 percent um, if you want the cheapest, cheapest SD card out there, I've reviewed this one before, the uh, Micro Center. It has a little bit less um, space on it as far as available space, but it's fast as heck and the price is amazing uh, when considering this. And sometimes they even go on sale. So uh, this is my budget pick. This is my best all around pick. And then there's going to be way faster cards out there like the Extremes, PNY, Lexar. They all make some really high end stuff that are really good. Um, so, uh, that's all I got for you today. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.